Hi everybody, this is Daphne Canales-Lees from Spartan Spark and I am talking about how to optimize your Facebook. If you're not on Facebook yet, you should get on there because it's a really good source of leads, referrals, especially in a consumer type business. You can run Facebook ads, a whole bunch of different things, but you have to have that whole online presence. From a search engine optimization perspective, Facebook shows up on Google search, so you want to make sure that your presence is optimized. If you don't have a website yet, this is a great tool to use to get people to know you, like you, trust you on Facebook to start um, interacting with them. The only other thing is that if you don't have a website, I would suggest adding some kind of email collection on your Facebook business page so that when you do end up moving to um, your own website you can email people and keep interacting with them remember that even though when people like your business page they don't necessarily see your posts and so you always want to have some way to communicate with them and e a valuable email communication is the best way to do that and we'll talk about that in a different tutorial we're going to talk right now about uh, your business page so here we are on my personal Facebook page. This is the regular Facebook page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this down arrow and I'm going to click on create page. So from here you can create a business or brand and so that would be your business name. And over here you can create a community or public figure. So your public figure would be your speaker profile or your personal brand. So we're back at the Spartan Spark page and what you want to do is you want to make sure you fill out as much information as you can in the about section. So what category do you want to put yourself in? You can um, list different categories and remember that Facebook chooses what words you can use. So for example, if I want to do digital, it only allows you to do three. So if I want to use digital agency those are not words that Facebook knows so it's only within their realm of knowledge because what they're gonna do is when somebody looks for those words they're gonna show your page so I'm gonna put advertising marketing save okay so I'm editing my page info to update all this information the way that I can get here is just by clicking on each of these so Spartan Spark is the name that I'm using for my page and Facebook is giving me some tips on how to do that this one here is great it's your username so you can set any username you want I like to be consistent with my username so for example my Facebook business is Spartan Spark Inc my Twitter Spartan Spark Inc my LinkedIn Spartan Spark Inc I like to keep it all consistent because then I can put it on a business card and it looks great and I can share that information with people so what happens is if I do facebook.com slash Spartan Spark Inc. Spartan Spark Inc. Then I get to my business page here. See, so you can have this on your business card. The other little thing you can do is Facebook also has FB.com, Facebook.com. So these are shorteners that you can use in your marketing, especially in your print material. And it takes me to the same page. So that's how you edit that um, info here. Otherwise, it's going to be like a whole bunch of numbers and it's not branded. So let's go back to about. You can set your hours and some details about uh, your business, whatever you can do to describe what you do. So here, again, fill out your mission, super important, so that people know that they can do business with you. Here's some tools that Facebook gives you. You can have your, phone, your business phone number and here's a direct link to your messenger your email, um, website, all these things help you optimize yourself online. Um, I filled out our founding date awards that we've won, anything to create more credibility with our clients. And this part here is really fun. This is the story. So if I click um, just right on the picture here, this is usually a blank page and now I've uh, made it more branded and I've told a little story about who we are and a call to action at the end. Super important to always have a call to action. So those are all the parts that you want to fill out. Reviews, uh, make sure that you brand your page and then you can share this link with your customers and they can go directly to your page to leave your review. You want to get as many reviews as possible. People believe 80% of reviews as much as asking a close personal friend. So make sure that you get as many reviews. And again, things are always changing on Facebook, so read their little tips and uh, figure out 
how you can optimize. When you're first creating your page, make sure you add a few photos, some business related photos to your page so that people know that you're active, you exist, you, and, and they get to find out more about you. Here we are helping uh, promote a client at their event and we've got different photos with the articles that we produce videos add some videos um, so what what happens with the videos is if you add them from YouTube there they don't show up on Facebook as well so what you want to do is add videos right into Facebook and uh, have them there any events that you have coming up you want to make sure that you put them on here you can also decide which events come on so Facebook has some new things that they put out all the time and if you're not ready to explore them what you can do is you can go into the settings and change up this menu here so you don't have to have all of this stuff visible you can just uh, kind of go grow as you go so what we're gonna do next is fix the settings so that the tabs that we're not using are not being shown so here we go we're going into settings and we are going to edit page here you can see the tab We've got about us services. We are not using the services tab, so we're gonna turn that off. The video tabs, you actually can't turn off. Facebook wants you to have video. So if you see here, they've got the URL, so you can link directly to any of these pages, but you can't turn the video tab off. Events, you can turn the events tab off until you're ready to use it. This, These are new areas that they're testing out. So the welcome, we can turn these off notes, jobs, and info and ads is for your information so you can't turn that one off. So these are the ones that we want in there, photos, everything looks good. You can also move these around so if you have a lot of great videos you can move these up and get people to see that right at the top of the menu. So we're gonna do about and post next because that's how you share your valuable information. And then we've got reviews, photos, videos, community. So when I go back to my page, you can see that my menu got a lot smaller. And finally, I don't have a community, I have a group. So what I'm gonna do is go into the settings and add the group page. So I'm going back into the settings, into the tab that I showed before. I am going to add a tab. The tab that I'm adding is groups and I'm gonna move my groups up. So that's all ready to go. I go back to my page and here I have this group so I can now click on the group and it asks me to create a group or link my group. I've already created my group page and what I'm gonna do now instead is link to my group. So here are all the groups that I'm part of and I'm just gonna link right here. There it is. And now the final setting that I'm going to do is I'm going to do cross posting between my personal brand and my business page. So my personal brand is my speaker page and I've already set that up as well. And I can now look for myself and add myself here. Okay, so there we go. And that is how you optimize your business page.